Primo with the pro. He's 8-1. He's the UFC lightweight Euro Smedic, the doctor, coming off a big win. UFC Vegas 55 here at King's MMA, Huntington Beach. How we doing? We're doing good. Thank you. Good to see you guys. Um, we're here. We just got done training. Uh, back to work. You know, it's just a normal day in the office. You win, you lose, you, you just go back to work, you get better, and uh, back in the cage, back to the fighting. I was going to say, no rest for the wicked, man. You're coming off a big second round victory, the knockout over Omar Marias, and you're right back inside the gym. Yes, yes, I was back on Monday. Today is Wednesday. Uh, yesterday I swam a little bit. I still have no contact stuff, but we do some light drills because I got suspended for, I don't know, like two weeks. But uh, yeah, we're here. We're working. I want to, you know, make a statement that I'm getting better. I'm, I'm going to be back in the cage fighting as soon as I can. Uh, uh, let's see if we can get something booked pretty soon. You know, July, August. Let's go. He's ready to go. What's the biggest lesson you learned after coming off your first professional loss against Jalen Turner? Because you bounced back pretty easily, man. You look very impressive out there inside the cage. Uh, yes, I, uh, I, it's a big lesson, you know, I lost a fight, I did not see things unfolding that quickly and that fast and such a huge momentum, um, you know, Jalen is a great fighter, he's on a roll, five wins streak I think, or maybe even more, I, I haven't been keeping up, but uh, props to him and maybe down the road in future we can meet again, um, I'm working my way up and I'm, I'm going to be better and um, every time I step in, a, in, in an octagon it's going to be a better fighter, the, much better than the fighter you've seen in the last fight. Well, the Schmoes had his eye on you for a long time now. Every single one of your victories, you end them in finishes. You were just doing some wrestling, some jiu-jitsu with Benil Dariush. Yes. Not a bad training partner to have. Yes, it's one of the best. Uh, Benil Dariush beats everybody. That's uh, I say that. I stand by it. He beats everybody on a given day, a given opportunity. Uh, that man is a savage. Um, but as far as finishes go, um, you can call me finisher. My ex certainly did. Well said, man. But real quick, back to Benil. The situation right now with him and Islam Makachev, maybe that fight's not going to happen because there's a vacancy with the lightweight strap with Charles Oliveira. Mm -hmm. What do you think should be next for Benny, your teammate? Um, title fight. Let's go. Why not? He's been 20 fights in the UFC. He's been through everything. He's, been, he's seen some of the best fighters in the world. Why not, you know? You never know. Key guys get sick, they get injured, somebody can't fight. The title is there. He's, he's going to claim it. Whether this year, next year, this opportunity, next opportunity, I don't doubt it. He's got the whole skill set needed for it. But would you think it's fair if the UFC made Charles Oliveira against Islam when Dana White said he wants to see Islam against Benil Dariush? He wants to see that fight still? I mean, fair. What does it fair mean? This is a, this is a fighting sport. There's, you know... Things happen. You cannot control everything. There's no such thing as, oh, this is fair or this is not fair. Let's go. People want to fight. Let's let's get them fighting. You know, the belt is there. There's going to be many champions to come and go. Benny is going to be one of them. So the, what, I don't care what's fair. You know, what are we going to do about it? I love the mindset, man. What do you think it means to you to be representing Serbia in the sport of mixed martial arts? Because there are a lot of great athletes, a lot of different sports, the NBA in particular. What's it mean for you, my man? It means the world. Uh, we're a land of sports. Everybody know that. Uh, Nikola Jokic claims the second MVP award in Denver Nuggets. Uh, Novak Djokovic just won a 1,000th win in tennis. He's almost 400 weeks on top. Like the, It's the genius of our time, the greatest that's probably ever been. Uh, um, so, I mean, there's so many other guys in NBA, Bogdanovic, Marjanovic, I mean, I could just name a hundred of them. We've been uh, in the top of the basketball, in the top of the tennis, in the top of the uh, football at some point, or, or soccer, as we call it when I was a kid. Um, uh, water polo, uh, now fighting is coming up, MMA is huge in Serbia. Uh, we have several fighting promotions there, there's a lot of fighters coming up. Uh, uh, it's just I'm, I'm very proud to be here to represent and uh, to take part in, 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 in this big puzzle. Certainly are, man. So what's next for you? We don't know an opponent, but do you want to fight someone to get your name ranked in the top 15? Do you envision that's what's going to happen before the end of 2022? Uh, no, I haven't thought about that as much. Uh, I just want to fight, and uh, this is where we get better the most. Uh, so July or August, I'll be ready to fight, and let's do it again. And whether or not I break top 15 this year or next year, it's going to certainly happen. Uh, it's just a matter of time, and I have no doubts about it. So... 
Uh, as of right now, just get the fight booked and uh, and get back in the camp. I mean, it's a camp all year round. I train all the time, twice a day. It's just uh, the matter of uh, that mindset, the tunnel vision. Okay, let's go. We have a fight, you know. So uh, that's about it. This man's a savage. Can we get a final message for all the Euros Medic fans out there yes, worldwide? We, we sure can. I'm the schmo and he's the pro. Wow, just like that. Yes, this time. Can we get this man a towel? You're schwitzing all over the schmo. I'm sorry, but it's just I just trained. You're working hard. Yeah, I have to. There's really no other option. These guys stopped me. Look at them. They're still working. I'm out here doing interviews and all this stuff. They're probably saying, look at this dumbass. We're out here training and he's doing interviews. But somebody's got to do it. Stepping up to the plate. Yeah, for sure. Let's go. He's the pro. I'm the schmo. I know you just reversed it, but we appreciate that. Kings MMA, Huntington Beach. We're out. Bye.